Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It's Monday, the 28th of November, and this is your play of the day. Hey, before we get rolling, if you guys would be so kind, take just a minute, smush that like button, hammer the thumb. As always, we appreciate the effort. While you're hammering, don't forget to hammer that subscribe button. Click the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content. And if you guys uh, haven't seen our uh, latest Once Upon a Time in Las Vegas, please check that out. Don't forget to drop a comment. You could win a $100 gift card just for dropping a comment like many of you guys have done here in the comment section. So make sure you check it out uh, and drop a comment sometime on Monday before we close it out for the week. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing. Whatever plays you got cooked up, put them in the comment section. You get them right, you make a profit. Well, we'll give you the shout-out. You get enough of them right, you could be the capper of the day. And uh, you want to go a little further than that? We are starting off a brand new week for our cow contest, our capper of the week. Just let me know which of your bets is your favorite by denoting it with a BB. That stands for best bet. Put that beside there. Let me know which one it is. If the odds are something different than minus 110, put those odds in there as well so we can get you graded properly. We'll run the contest Monday through Sunday. And Sunday night, uh, the Monday show, we'll reveal who the cow is. And we do have a brand new cow for this week. Stay tuned. We'll reveal the name in just a minute. Nice come from behind victory. I'll give you that much um, as far as a clue goes. Um, uh, let's take a look see how we did yesterday. Guys, we had the Seahawks and the Raiders. What the hell? What the absolute hell? Um, let them stay around. They couldn't shut them out when they had the chance. And let's face it, Josh Jacobs absolutely owned this game. And that was one of the things I liked about that. When I saw Jacobs pop up on the injury list on Friday, I uh, had really thought he was leaning towards not playing. Not only did he play, uh, not only did he play, he took over the game and had a fantastic game. So hats off to Josh Jacobs and uh, the Oakland Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, killer. Kiss the killer for us. And the Seahawks as well. Rocky's going to be bummed because he's a huge Seahawks fan. As far as the premium side, we had a very, very nice day. We go 7-3. and three. On the uh, on the premium side, and uh, uh, what we miss, we missed uh, the Zags to cover. We missed uh, Green Bay plus six and a half. Couldn't punch it in in the red zone there at the end of the game to give us the cover, and we missed the New Orleans and San Francisco forty three and a half over. Eh, just missed that one a tad. Uh, we did hit our best bet. That was the Chargers Arizona over forty eight and a half half point victory. Yeah, we'll take it. No worries there. So. Hey, I got some exciting news, guys. If you want to get my premium picks, 60% off today. 60% off. We've been running a good sale all weekend. A lot of you guys have taken advantage of that. And uh, we're not quite 80% off, but we are 60% off. You can use that on any of my packages. And you can also use it on my best bet of the day. Normally $49.99, 60% off. We'll take, uh, what, about 30 bucks off of that? So 20 bucks, 20 bucks. It's guaranteed. You don't win, you don't pay. So do check out that if you're looking for the longer packages. Good time to strike with a 60% discount. So all you have to do is use the discount code STE39VR60, and that'll get you that 60%. Of course, that code and the link are in the description of today's video. And lastly, we are sponsored again by No House Advantage. Fantasy sports redefined. You can bet on a player over-unders for a shot to win up to 21 times your bet when you're playing against the house, or you can play pick'em contests against other people for cash money prizes. Just check out nohouseadvantage.com or download the app. When you make your first deposit, make sure you use the code W&W, and that'll get you a first deposit bonus up to $50. So check that out if you would, please. All right, let's talk a little Monday Night Football, shall we here, kids? Uh, Steelers, Colts, under 39 and a half. Got two very good defenses going at it there in uh, Indy. Uh, Indy is, uh, especially against the run, Indy's second. Uh, in the league, giving up 3.8 yards per carry. The Steelers not too far behind fifth at 4.1. Um, and these are two teams that do like to run the ball. They would, I would think both of them uh, would rather run the ball than pass. Uh, Matt Ryan played better in his last couple of games since uh, since coming back. But Jonathan Taylor, makes no mistake, is still the go-to option there. And you know Mike Tomlin, you know his drill, a little bit conservative. Um, he never needs much encouragement to run the football. Now with Kenny Pickett at the helm, uh, I think he'd be happy to throw about mm, eight times a game. Um, these two offenses don't go slow. They are in the upper third of pace, but 
Kind of like a car just sitting there spinning its tires. They are uh, 30 and 31st, respectively, in yards per play. So, um, you know, both teams have been solid under teams. Uh, Steelers have gone 6-4 and four to the under, 4-2 and two to the under on the road. And the Colts, while not quite the Broncos, kind of a mini version of the Broncos. Offense is a little better. Defense not quite as good. But they've still gone 9-2 and two to the under and 4-1 and one to the under at home. I think there's going to be a lot of running clock in this one, and I think we're either going to see drives that are going to end in punts or a lot of field goals. I like the under here. Give me Steelers Colts under 39 and a half. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. You guys know how I did? Let's check in and see how ye all did, shall we? Uh, Steve Godon, the Godfather, going 1 0 plus 234. Whoops, world. Uh, Going, uh, I, no, he's, he, I, I lied about Steve, by the way. I think he went three and two. Yeah, I think he went three and two on that 234. My bad. Sorry, Steve. Um, Webb's World goes one and one. He got juiced. Uh, Expert Blue checking in four and oh, plus 560. Casino, one and oh, plus 500. He had the uh, Tampa Bay Cleveland under 42 and a half, but your capper of the day. You know him, you love him. The pride of Austin, Texas, everybody going one and oh, plus 1000. Had a four team teaser. Miami minus seven, Washington plus three, Baltimore plus three and a half. Don't even get me started on that team. Uh, and Cleveland plus ten and a half. It's Bronco Devil, everybody. Congratulations, Bronco Devil. One and oh, plus 1,000. You are the capper of the day. Well done to you. Well done to the rest of you guys that uh, made a little money on a on a tricky, tricky NFL day there. A few upsets indeed. And as far as capper of the week contest goes, well, I did it again, kids. Uh, his come from behind victory today with that four teamer, Bronco Devil aced out Brandon Zerfus. Bronco Devil ends up at uh, plus five fifty. Brandon Zerfus played a little parlay, didn't get home. He ends up at four forty, and uh, Justin McElvey also played the cards plus one thirty. New and interesting ways to win every time for that team. Uh, he ends up at plus three eighteen. Bronco Devil, capper of the week, buddy. You know the drill. You want to do a video if you got rid of your flip phone. If you're ready to make your national uh, debut, or willing and able, we'll uh, shoot it this Thursday if you want. So <laughs> there you go. Um, congratulations, guys. We're firing it up again today. Don't forget to put your plays in there. Put that BB. You could be the next capper of the week. Hell, if Bronco Devil can do it, you can do it. Um, hey, congratulations, Bronco. Uh, seriously, you did, you did a nice job. Uh, had a, a solid week. I know you've been hotter than a firecracker and uh, well-deserved victory. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll be back here tomorrow. Same bat time. Same bat channel conjuring up a little Tuesday action as we look for that play that gives us our best chance to head back to the window. Guys, take care. We'll see you then.